More than five years ago, I was lying next to my mom on her bed, talking to her before she went to sleep, and she was sitting up next to me, back against a stack of pillows. She started to talk to me about colleges. I wasn't too excited about that because, honest to God, I didn't care where I went. I figured I'd make myself happy wherever I ended up. It kills me inside whenever I see kids worrying so much, wasting so much precious time and effort over this college rat race. I, if I thought I could win people over by just saying that, though, believe me, I wouldn't have waited this long. Back to my story. So I'm lying there, my bored eyes drifting around the room while I pretended to play, pay close attention. I listened to every word she said, of course, partly out of respect and partly because it was more interesting than just staring at her curtain. There had been a meeting of some sort at the school that night. I started to mentally grip my teeth to prepare for another long pseudo lecture that I wasn't going to take much away from one way or the other. Life is a way of not pitching how you expect, though, even when you've got your eyes open for curveballs. Even writing it down soon after, I didn't remember exactly what she said. I never thought I'd be here now, maybe. I never thought I'd have to deal with this college stuff, perhaps. I never thought I'd get to deal with this college stuff, more likely. Definitely, I never thought you'd last this long. Then, choking back a tear, I mean, I thought you'd be dead before middle school. And then I was holding her hand as much for my own well-being as for hers, I think. There was some shock, obviously. Not a lot. Perhaps not as much as you'd think when your own mom tells you that she expected your life to be over before you finished your first year of double digits, before you ever went trick-or-treating without an adult, before you ever got a real report card, before you ever got your first high school credit, before your first job, your first car, your first dance, your first kiss, before you ever got a chance to know yourself. Maybe I wasn't shocked as most people would have been. Maybe that's because I'm not most people at all. I don't know how many times I've almost died. How many times I've lingered at the edge of death, knocking on its door for who knows how long, before telling whatever sent me there that there wasn't a chance in hell that I was done and gone yet. I don't know how many times I've fought my way back from the brink, because, not because I'm brave, but because I didn't know what else to do. I didn't give up because I was just too stubborn and thick-headed to accept the fact that playtime was over, too single-minded to acknowledge the possibility of my impending doom. What I do know, though, is that it's a bloody miracle that I'm alive. I know, oh boy do I know, that I should be dead. In terms of probability, in terms of odds, I should have died a few hundred times over. I know, even if I do forget it sometimes, that every day of my life is an absolute gift. But like I said, I forget it sometimes. I really do. I forget how lucky I am. I get caught up in the everyday worries of life's mundanities, and I suppose that's forgivable. She reminded me, though. Those words reminded me more vividly than I've been reminded in a long time. No one expected me to get this far. Everything I do, every second I do something, every second I do nothing, every meal I eat, every joke I tell, every person I make smile or laugh, those are all bonuses. They're extra. But this isn't borrowed time. This time is mine, this time is ours. A few months ago, I turned 22. I was supposed to be dead, dead in a coffin and buried when I was eight. It seems so pointless to me, you know, she said, laughing a little bit, tears running down her reddening face. All of these parents are so freaked out about their kids getting into the perfect college, and me? She looked at me a tear rolling into the crease of her smile. My baby's going to college. I squeezed her hand, the words my baby meaning so much more to me now than they did that morning, 
and they were just another little cutesy thing that bothered me a bit. Maybe you already get all this stuff. Maybe you already do whatever it takes to make sure that you don't waste too much time worrying about the future because corny as it may sound, you could be dead tomorrow. But maybe you'll live. Maybe you'll double, triple, quadruple your life expectancy. Who knows? I don't, you don't, no one does, and it doesn't matter. Because it's true what they say. These years, these moments are the best of your life if you allow yourself to live them fully. And the best part about that sentence is that it doesn't matter when you hear it or read it. If you say it 20 years from now, it'll still be true. That's the beauty of being alive. And we're not dead yet, so let's try and enjoy it while it lasts, huh? That's it. Thank you.